officer. Mariahville Goat Farm Yurt. Yes, Yurt. With over 600 reviews and still maintaining a five star, I booked this property with a pretty sketchy mindset. Are these reviews fake? Did Ed and Rick buy this rating? Absolutely not. When I seen these cool looking photos, I had to check it out. I had no idea what a yurt was, and to be honest, I still don't. But anyway, All right, I guess we're just sticking with this. We oh can't my decide. God, bro! You've been bro, looking bro, at this for three of the one. We're not picking this. Let's go! I literally said. I we were playing. I said let's go like seventeen times, and no one's responding. You guys are talking about Ray Mysterio and pop figures. After some serious prep and taking nine hours to pack a car, this property was only twenty minutes out. Thank goodness. That was a cop. <laughs> When we first arrived, we were greeted by Ed and Rick, or as Aaron calls him, Big, big Bro. Well, they're both Big Bros. Big yeah. Bros. Big Bro was super nice. He gave us a tour of his farm. He showed us these wild things like the area where they do goat yoga, a trampoline that's goat accessible, a tree house, tons of sculptures or art. I'm just going to call it art. Unlike most properties, he encourages us to actually go around and explore the area. Are we going to get lost in the woods? Not a shot. For those who don't know, winter in upstate New York gives you about three hours of sunlight. Sunset is about five o'clock. Our arrival time was at four. And by the time the tour was over and our stuff was lugged up to this yurt, we had only 10 minutes to get a fire started. But when you share a space with three friends who all suffer from ADD, understand that it's just not going to happen instantly. <laughs> what the By the time we finished taking other matters seriously, it was dark and we needed to start a fire quickly. But knowing us, this simple task would grow into something much more complicated. Why? <laughs> it was so cold, I couldn't feel my hands and the fire just kept dying and dying. At one point, Matt was going to send it on this TikTok hack that involved a battery and aluminum foil, but he got scared. I kind of don't want to do it because I can't feel my fingertips, so I don't know when it's going to heat up. But as always, family came in clutch, and after calling somebody and having them dumb it down to us step by step, we made fire for like 12 minutes. Dominoes pulled up, and Uno was laid out, and with this group, sportsmanship was top priority. <laughs> Let's go! These Uno games pushed us till about 3 a.m. until we finally called it. And like everyone else in this world, you gotta take a leak before you get some sleep. And like the grown men we are, we stepped out one by one, all alone in that dark, cold. <clears throat> we went in groups. This yurt is made for four guests, and what we didn't realize is there were two cots and one bed. So, that means two people in the bed. So, while Keegan and Matt were comfy on their little fake mattresses, Aaron and I were bromancing it up. But all jokes aside, what a better way to get some sleep than to leave the door wide open in six degree weather. <laughs> I'm not this cop might collapse in the middle of the night. <laughs> that joke went on for 35 minutes and had us going delusional. But somehow, some way, we knocked out. Seven thirty a.m. Checkouts at eleven, which means we got to get a move on so we could play with these goats. Just as we were getting suited up and ready to roll out, Rick brought us some breakfast. God, I love this man. Fresh cider from a local farm, eggs, yogurts, warm biscuits, jellies, coffees, fruits. Shout out to you, big bro. And with this delicious distraction, everyone was now awake. So we ate like champions, and we went to play with the warriors. Was that, was that good? Did you like that? I thought it was pretty good. In conclusion, this place is epic. I have no doubt that all these five-star ratings are real. In fact, you actually see them in person. Ed and Rick have multiple journals inside of the yurt where they actually encourage you to write about your stay and share a little of your story. 
Going into this day, my friends didn't have the most positive mindset. But 15 minutes before leaving the farm, I asked them to give me an honest rating out of five stars, and this is what we got. It, it's um, it makes me really feel like it's a, a five out of five. Hmm. We give it a four. Okay. It was, it was super dope, bro. I had a great time here. Yeah. I feel like uh, I feel like the time of year was just not was not really right. Okay. So you're giving it a four out of five because of weather specifically, kind of thing, the coldness. I get you. If I could. I'd give it a six out of five. I love that. I love that. I understand that. But since I can't, I'm giving it a five out of five. So here's my review. Ed and Rick, your attention to detail is honestly one of the most impressive things I've seen. It just seems like every inch of this property has life to it. Y'all ever go on a property and just question why they have these random rooms or spaces? But that's not why I'm giving you this rating. I feel you've achieved something that most businesses and people try to get and or give for years. Not only did you provide a warm, comforting, and fun shelter, but you've given us an experience. An experience that I wish more people in this world took seriously. And that is to unplug and connect. This is somewhere you can take your friends, your lovers, your family, or go alone. This property encourages you not to stress so much, to take your time and be present with yourself, to get out of your comfort zone. I mean, you can lay around most of the day if you really want to. The point that I'm trying to make is I don't think the goal of this farm is to give you an objective of what to do or provide you with some sort of answers to life's questions. I think the goal of this farm is to get you to not be so serious and just have fun. Because that is what life's about, right? I can go on and on about this, but if you want more information about our stay and are thinking about booking this property yourself, definitely recommend you click the link below to the full review that's where my friends and i sit down and have a discussion about our stay talk about what we liked what we didn't like and share some stories on our trip like this one addison's acting like we were incapable of making a fire we weren't incapable of making i also a fire. have 17 minutes of footage on my phone of us trying to make the fire we used a whole composition notebook all right, first of all, <laughs> including not, the cover, don't <laughs> expose us. I'll also be leaving a link to Ed and Rick's Airbnb in case you're ready to book a stay with them, which I definitely recommend you do. So, Ed and Rick, thank you for everything. But for now, I'm hungry. Not like that sheep that try to eat our cheese balls. I'm hungry for experiences. I don't plan on making these videos just to show off fresh goats. I want you to be inspired, motivated, explore new places, try new things, meet new people. So I'm gonna end these videos the same way every time. Get out and have an experience.